Alright lads, so in less than 12 hours time, we are going to be getting the review of the second anniversary banner. In this case, it's the Enderman banner, and within today's video, we're going to be talking about who it might potentially be. As always though, this is just for a bit of fun, to try and predict what we could see. Normally, our predictions are wrong. I mean, last month, I made a whole 20-minute video on why I think the anniversary was Rukia, and we ended up being completely wrong. But that's the fun of it. We never know what's going to happen, and that's why it's fun to speculate. So in the comments below, lads, you lads can join in too. Let me know what your prediction is for this upcoming end of one banner and if you get any of the characters right i'll give you a shout out in tomorrow's video when we do react to the character reveal and also the characters itself now personally i'm actually pretty excited about this one because again it is going to be a pretty big banner this is basically the second part of the anniversary but technically round five because we're already currently on round four this year so firstly before we start predicting what character it could be let's answer the question what is this banner going to be is it going to be thousand year blood war or is it going to be spirits are there with you now last year it was Spirit Sarfa with you featuring our first set of Beyond Bankai characters, which was Jushiro, Yamamoto, and also Shinsui. The year before that was Thousand Year Blood War, and it was round 10 of Thousand Year Blood War, featuring Uryu, Basby and also Drugum. So we have examples here of anniversaries being either one, right? Now, in my opinion, I think it's going to be Spirits Arthur with you. Now, of course, there is a possibility it could be Thousand Year Blood War. It's just personally for me, I feel like the best thing to do for that collaboration or, you know, reintroduction of the Thousand Year Blood War characters in Bleach Brave Souls is just to simply wait until the anime does come out. Safwe is what they have been focusing on for the most part, and I feel like that's the best thing to do right now because, you know, in October time when the anime comes out, that's the best time to start giving us thousand year blood war cards again instead of doing it right now sure i'll be excited for thousand year blood war but personally i would rather it wait for the anime to come out and we can get characters alongside the actual anime itself you know how hype would it be if we got yamamoto and yuha after their fight in the anime at the end of the year then giving it to us now for the anniversary again i'd still be excited but personally i'd rather wait for them to hold out on thousand year blood war until the anime does start airing sometime in october so because of that, I do believe that end of month is going to be a Spirits Are Forever With You banner. And on your screen right now is the 10 characters that are set to get Beyond Bankai forms. And what you will notice is that majority of them have been completed. In fact, we only have five more characters left. So the big question is, which of these five characters are going to be coming tomorrow morning? Now, there are also two more characters part of this Spirits Are Forever With collaboration, that being Roka and CN. But I don't see them doing for an anniversary. And I feel like those would be the two characters that you end the collaboration on as they are basically the final big fight of the entire novel. So we're mainly going to be focusing on these five specific characters. And at the same time, there is also a potential chance they release all five of them or release more characters that aren't even listed here. For today's video, we're only focusing on these five as I feel like this is the safest bet if you're trying to predict who could come out tomorrow. So my first prediction of these five characters and who I think is an absolute shoo-in for this upcoming end of my banner is going to be Toshiro. Now the reason for that is quite simple. He's just a very popular character. I'd say, and I think it's a safe bet to say that he is the most popular character of the last five remaining story bus slash captains. And if you want to make this second part of the anniversary really exciting, you want to make sure you have Tosha in there. In my opinion, he just fits the technique attribute. That's also a reason why I'm saying him. Part one of the anniversary did feature a mind and speed character. So I feel like us getting a really good technique character for end of month is something that is definitely possible. And that technique character being Toshiro, a very popular character, will just make complete sense and again if they want to make a lot of money for this anniversary you want to make sure you have Toshiro in this upcoming banner at the same time the next character I think is going to be featured here is Sajin and the main reason why I'm saying that is because what we do know is that there's also most likely going to be a power character we just got a power special move source and we also know there is a new data mind pvp skill if you haven't seen my video regarding the information that we did get essentially there is a new skill that was data mined by Heekin and Slowdex where if a character dies or or if the teammates die, they get more normal attack damage. So we know it's a brave battle only skill, and that means end month is going to feature a brave battle character, just like the last two anniversary part twos have done. So it's basically tradition at this point that we do get a new brave battle character. And of the five remaining characters, Gin, Mayuri, Toshiro, Sajin, and also Kaname, who best fits the feature or idea of a brave battle character? And in my opinion, that goes to Sajin. Now you could make a case of Mayuri being the brave battle 
Matter character, and I definitely think that is a possibility, but I'm going to explain why I don't think it's Mayuri in a few minutes' time. So, Sergeant is the second prediction, him being a power character that is, you know, brave battle orientated in his, you know, maybe Barankai armor. He's going to be a pretty cool character, and it's going to be nice to see Sergeant get, you know, the PvP treatment he deserved after the old one, the Thousand Year Blood one, got absolutely destroyed by someone like Retsu. Sergeant is taking his rightful place as potentially the new best brave battle character, but at the same time, I won't lie, it would be nice to get an actual playable sergeant that's good in PV content, so I would understand why you might be disappointed in the potential chance of sergeant being a brave battle character. Now it's time for our third character prediction. Who do I think the final character this banner is going to be? Well, my final guess is going to be Kaname. Now let me explain why. Keep in mind with these characters that are being released, they aren't being released randomly. There is an ongoing story that I have been covering on the channel related to these characters and why they're getting these new forms and why the clones are appearing in Soul Society. In fact, one of the main reasons why they are appearing is because of the past regrets and actions of the Soribas that we have here. In this case, they can easily make a reason of why Kaname is back and why he's appearing in Soul Society, and it's going to be mainly due to the fact that Sergeant still has deep regret and sorrow for the fact that he couldn't save his best friends. So with that, you're going to have two characters that just make sense being together. It's going to be quite emotional, maybe, even reading the story if Caleb want to go down that route, and you're also going to have Toshiro, a very popular character that, in my opinion, will be carrying this particular banner. At the same time, coincidentally, this is also the order these characters have been placed in, because what you can see here is that Jushiro, Yamamoto, Shunsui are next to each other. Kiyosuke, Shinji are next to each other. Yoruichi, Soifon next to each other. And then you also have Kenpachi and Retsu next to each other. And all those characters came out in the same banners. So we could potentially have a confirmed pattern here where Gin and Mayuri are next to each other because they're going to be the two characters that come out together. And then Kaname, Sajin, and also Toshiro are next to each other because they are set to come out together. So that's my first and main prediction. Kaname, Sajin, and also Toshiro. Now, second prediction. Again, we're making multiple here because I think there's definitely a few possibilities. My second prediction, and it's what I've been saying for quite a long time, is Toshiro, Mayuri, and also Gin. The reason for that is because these three are very, very popular, and I think this would be the best banner if they want to make the most amount of money, because they are three massively popular characters, and then personally for me, that would be the best case scenario. These three, Mayuri being the Brave Battle character, could definitely see them going down that route. However, the reason why I'm not going down that route, and the main reason why I don't think Mayuri is going to be in this upcoming end of my banner, is mainly due to, again, the story. Because if that hypothetically was the banner that would come out, that means in a few months' time when we get the next Beyond Bankai characters, and this is the final one, it's going to end on Sergeant and Kaname. I can't see them ending it on these two characters in terms of the story. And that's why I think Mayuri is going to be the last one, potentially with Gen, as he's just the last one to be included, is that Mayuri is going to be the reason and the solution to why all these clones are appearing in Soul Society. I can't see them ending it without Mayuri being in the last banner. So that's why I'm thinking that Mayuri isn't going to be in the main banner until, like, you know, the next round, because if they, again, hypothetically did end on Kaname and Sajin, I just don't see why they would do it on them characters, and I don't think the banner itself would be really too exciting if it was just the those two specific characters. So they want to save some potential hype characters for the final round, which again could potentially end on my Yuri and Gin. Unless they want to end it on an absolute banger and prediction number three, I'm saying all five characters. Let's end it on an absolute bang. Mayuri, Gin, Toshiro, Karame, and Sajin in one banner. I don't see that happening. That's why it's the last prediction. But if they did do that, that would be kind of funny. That would be kind of funny. Maybe they want to quickly end the collaboration so they can just focus on Fowlers in Your Blood War when that does eventually air again sometime in October. But we'll have to see how it goes. So quick recap and my first and main prediction... Toshiro, Kaname, and also Sajin. That's going to be the, the most likely one, in my opinion. Second one, the most hype one, which will be Toshiro, Mayuri, and also Gin. And then my third prediction, the most unlikely one, all five remaining characters. Mayuri, Gin, Sajin, Kaname, and also Toshiro. And I guess prediction number four, just to throw it in there, Thousand Year Blood War. Don't know who it can be. If it's Giselle, we're going down to zero. So with that said, that was the video for today. Just giving my prediction on what I think End of Month could be tomorrow. Hope you guys did enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.